right, New York replacement Governor Kathy Hochul is apparently trying to make some friends. She announced she's reinstating the popular pandem pandemic innovation. Cocktails to go. What, what for bars and restaurants struggling through the winter? 80% of New Yorkers approve. Local businesses are thrilled. And so are drink makers. My next guests are connoisseurs of cocktails at the Duke Spirits Bourbon and Tequila Distillery. Two of my favorites, the Twin Towers of Freedom, inspired by the Duke himself icon John Wayne. The actor's son, Ethan Wayne, is fulfilling his father's dream of opening a liquor line. And this distillery even has a new line of tequila supporting the John Wayne Cancer Foundation, which is fantastic. Uh, so here to discuss... Son of John Wayne, it is Ethan Wayne. Hi, Ethan. And Hi, founder, thanks for having us. Oh, my gosh. Founder and CEO of Duke Spirits, Chris Radomski. Uh, gentlemen, so great to have you both. Great to be here, Kennedy. And by that, I mean the tequila and the bourbon. <laughs> I feel like I've won two Academy Awards tonight. Uh, so this is fantastic. Ethan, how did you know that, that your dad had this desire to uh, start a bourbon line? Well, look, my father had many different interests, but he was busy. Mm. You know, if he made two films, he's gone six months a year, and then he's got to come back and deal with family and three wives and uh, other business. So, you know, besides spirits and mining and ranching and farming, uh, he just didn't have time to get to everything. And, and when we got into our, uh, our archive and I saw all the bourbons and tequilas and wines and champagnes that had been stored there for 40 years, uh, you know, Chris came with me, we looked at it, uh, we knew what he liked, and we thought it was appropriate to bring something to market that uh, that was timeless over trend. Yeah. And uh, I think that's what you'll find in this bottle. You'll have, uh, uh, you know, authentic quality mm -hmm. spirits, whether it's a whiskey uh, or whether it's a tequila. Yeah. No, I, I really appreciate that uh, you have both of those in there and you know Chris I think authenticity is the name of the game and obviously there's a lot of competition out there so how do you get that that feeling that intensity and that connection in a bottle that John Wayne had given to fans throughout the world well you know we had, we had the opportunity uh, when Ethan showed us uh, what he had uncovered uh, to taste a lot of the spirits that his dad had in the archives and there really was a definitive profile. You know, it's like anything else that was made 30, 40, 50 years ago. It's just done differently. Mm. And, uh, you know, I was in the wine industry a long time, and we were able to sort of re-engineer, given what we had and the evidence, to do something a little bit different. And I think it's really reflective in the bottle. Um, you know, I like to drink it. So what is the process like, <laughs> Chris? What does is, what is the reverse engineering entail to get that flavor? Well, a lot, a lot of it's the palate, you know. Uh, you know, bourbons have a different composition of, of, uh, of grains in them when they're made. And, uh, it's about composition, it's about tasting, it's about tasting other bourbons to get the right flavor profile. Mm -hmm. it's, it's no different than, you know, uh, differentiating the nuances in a fine wine. Yeah. Uh, alcohol, you can measure. So, um, so it, it process. Ethan, I do have a recommendation. Oh, please, go ahead. I think you should buy a bourbon now because at the rate our government's printing money, this bourbon will become more valuable over time. Absolutely right. It's more valuable than gold. This is uh, <laughs> two bottles of liquid gold I got right here. Woo! That's right. Um, and, of course, we want everyone uh, who is worried about their health to get cancer screenings. I know a lot of people have stayed away yeah. during the pandemic, and y your company raises a lot of money for cancer research. So thank you both for that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having us on. Yeah. Enjoy. Uh, uh, go ahead. What were we going to say, Chris? I just said it's our pleasure to follow the legacy and uh, do something uh, a little bit different. Yes, it's wonderful because you guys are not only putting out a great product uh, in memory of a great man who loved a tipple, but also the money is going to a fantastic cause. So you're doing good and doing well at the same time. That's what my dad said you should always do. So I want to thank you both for doing that. Bless you both. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you.